Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sumer with my pep talk and today I will talk about uh, a problem or an issue or you know something which is very close to my heart and you know I, I hope you know I'm able to put it in words and I hope I'm able to un- make you understand what I'm saying. It's a slightly difficult thing to understand but it has value. Let's, let's understand. Now, what I want to say is that today I see a lot of children do things in a half-hearted manner. Like for example, I see and I meet a lot of students, candidates who are preparing for an exam and they tend to do it in a half-hearted manner. So I may you say, you know, I'm trying, but I'm not trying, I'm not studying, I'm, you understand? So the, what is the problem with this half-hearted attempt is now, what happens is when you do a half-hearted attempt, tell me truthfully, you know that, that if you do something half-heartedly, the results would be half-hearted. You know, trust me like this. There's, there's no magic here. There's no you know, uh, magic that would happen that you do something half-hearted and you, know, you will beat everybody else. It doesn't work like this in real life. So you do something half-hearted and you get go, go and give the exam. You do a half-hearted thing. But what happens is, I want you to understand what happens after this. If you do a half-hearted attempt, but at the end of the day, you've given an exam or you, you know, tried your, you know, luck there. So what happens is after the exam, you start getting hope. You start getting hope that, you know, let's see if magic happens. Let's see, you know, I, I might just get through it. And then when the result comes, you know, uh, the result is, you know, not good because you did it all half-heartedly. You would not have a result. But what happens is if you do something half-heartedly, when the result comes bad, something happens that you never expected. You thought that, you know, I'll do something half-hearted and later on I will come back and make a comeback very easily. But what happens is when you see those numbers, when you see a rank which is really, really bad, now what happens is these numbers, they create a self-doubt in you. And you start doubting your ability, you start feeling, am I actually good enough to do this or not? And I've seen many people that now, because of the self-doubt, they are unable to put a quality effort now because of the self-doubt and they keep, they get enveloped with the self-doubt all around. Now what happens is they are always thinking, whenever they are studying, they're thinking, what if even if I study, I might get a bad rank again and they get into this vicious cycle. And second thing that happens after a half-hearted attempt is that suppose you know you do a half-hearted attempt at the exam, you get a no, uh, not a good rank, and you get a uh, you you get choices which you really never wanted to do. But now people will start telling you that you know who knows next year your rank might deteriorate. You may not be able to do well. You have those self doubts, and you have people to people to you know increase the self doubt anyhow. And now what happens is you start getting confused that should I take a compromise or not? And then if you compromise, you create regrets that what if I had done a full-blown attempt? At least I would not have had the regrets. Now, you know, that is the entire, you know, cycle of giving an exam or going for any high achievement thing. Anything which you will consider in the high achievement zone in life would always be competitive. Anything that is worth having, there would be more people wanting to have it and it would always be competitive. That is what I firmly believe. You know, I don't believe in any sort of rat race or anything, but if you want to do it, if you are ambitious enough to do and get into any achievement zone, that thing would be competitive. And if it is not competitive, probably, you know, it's not worth having, you know, you know, I, I'll give you an idea that there are so many, so many free fake degrees available today. You know, you might just, you know, go and go and Google it up uh, online course for hundred thousand, you know, hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, six hundred, two hundred. And you just pay and you get those online courses, the paper degrees, worthless degrees. And they actually don't make any difference in your clinical practice. Neither do they make any difference in your you know, careers and job opportunities. So what happens is many times, you know, people seek higher dreams, but somehow they are not able to put a full-hearted, all-out attempt at what they're doing. And what they do is they do half-hearted things. If you do half-hearted things, you create two things which were not there on your shoulders before. 
when you do something half hearted you create two baggage a baggage of self doubt baggage of regret and this baggage makes everything very heavy and you thought that you know maybe in the next attempt you will go full hearted but now what happens is because of this baggage that you have accumulated of self doubt the baggage of regrets it becomes a journey which is where you can't even move one foot without getting doubts about your ability without having regrets over the past now recently you know i was interviewing a student after the aims rank you know we had a massive rank ranks by damsonians in this year's aims exam and i was interviewing this student now during this interview a student told me a line and which you know reminded me of a line that i have said in a video before now he said that you know he was not very serious about his studies he never took study seriously but when he gave the exam he got a borderline rank in one of the exams he wanted to do surgery but he was not so serious about his studies so he gave the exam he got a borderline rank and at his rank he could not get surgery he joined he got the nt and then you know that is a problem with the half hearted thing now everybody started to tell him that you know you know why you know why why don't you take it even nt is surgical and you may not you know be able to get this opportunity later on and all those kind of stuff that people would tell you when you are insecure you know people would talk to you definitely they would you know they would expose you they will you know kind of put knife into your insecurity again and again again and again till the time you become massively insecure so you know, i hope you understand when you are insecure you open your wounds to the world to exploit you, you, you know so he joined the nt and uh, ent i am not saying ent is a bad surgery it's not like this but he never wanted to do ent he wanted to do general surgery and there's a difference between uh, ear surgery and uh, you know abdominal surgery so you know he worked in ent for 6 months he worked very hard but every day he he suffered he suffered from regret because this is not what he wanted to do he was not happy there he was regretting and that's the problem now now the attempt now he decided to resign and give another attempt but this time when he is giving the attempt you know again and again the same fear comes back self doubt regret self doubt regret and but still he manages you know and this time he manages and gets into a top 20 rank in aims and so you know that happens now you know now this victory becomes much more credible because he has been able to fight two demons and i told him on on that live interview that we conducted on the youtube it's there on youtube to see i told him that you know after you have done this this time there will be no turning back for you in life because you have learned to kill the two inner demons which will you know which you know kind of engulf you and they they make you suffer self doubt regrets and this time you have learned to beat them and once you le- learn to beat them and you know that you don't want to be in that zone again now i told him that now onwards you know you will be a changed man and you would always do things in a full hearted manner and that is the key to life the key to life here is that you know we we are not uh, you know we are not animals we are not uh, there for vegetative existence we are not bothered too much about food and shelter we want higher goals and when we seek higher goals we need to go towards a goal with a full heartedness that's the key you have to give a full hearted attempt it's just like sports that you know you're playing a match you have to play it in a full hearted manner you don't do it like a half hearted you know half hearted game and then you lose the game and people doubt your abilities you doubt your abilities you regret what if i had practiced better and you know and you create a mess that is what i really 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 want you to understand you know you may not see the value here but you know as a youngster i see a lot of kids doing this mistakes you know i don't know why but maybe to look cool to others or maybe to sound cool you know they'll say is bar to aise you know paper de dunga you know this like you know at this time i'll just give a paper just just like that you know just like i'm not really serious about it why why are you not serious about it let's let's do it and finish it off or let's not do it at all there's also an option here what, what i feel is that either we play to win or let's not play it all at all but if you are playing half heartedly you're doing a massive disservice to yourself which you will not understand till the time it hits you and when it hits you that self doubt is like a 
it's like a lymphatic you know tumor it engulfs all around you it engulfs you and it doesn't let you think clearly and here onwards you have so many doubts that it, it clouds all your decision making you do a like, like you know i've seen so many you know people around me juniors to me seniors to me and i have seen that this is the worst you can do to yourself i have seen you know my own uh, colleagues you know giving a half hour attempt they being very cool about it but after the result comes you know then you know then your clear thinking process goes away now he doesn't know should i attempt again am i actually capable or not there's so much self doubt and in that peak of self doubt if you let your insecurities you know um, totally dominate you you make a decision that you never wanted to make and i have seen people get into branches that they would never have wanted to get into it and thereafter the regrets regret a poison called as regret enters their you know psyche and they change gradually as a person and when i meet them now i you know i, I don't identify them with their past i don't know you know maybe i'm biased or not but you know there is there is something that changes you that's regret regret is a poison that you can't let it enter your system you know if, if once the regret enters your system you change as a person you change and you know you become a different kind of a person altogether and you become someone that you never wanted to become so you know let's be careful here i think you know what one can do you know what one needs to do to get into the high achievement zone to get into the high impact zone to do a meaningful impact for the society you need to do things full heartedly that is the biggest service that you can do to yourself to your family to the society in general my belief is is very different you know sometimes i think that my belief is that some children come and say that they want to do good to the society i said you know to good to to do good for the society as a doctor first you do the best you can in what you are doing okay everything else will come back and follow you need to do the best you can in what you are doing you don't want to regret later on you don't want to regret years later that i am you know you become a surgeon but you become a clumsy surgeon you don't want to keep regretting it again and again that i did not practice at the right time because if you don't practice at the right time you will create blunders later on so you know everything is interlinked it's not just about exams it's about life it's about life you need to take your chances full heartedly you need to go all out at the opportunity that matters if you if you you know if you do it half heartedly the baggages of self doubt the baggages of regret they become very heavy on your back you will not if you are you know giving an exam for the first time or if you are you know first time getting into a competitive system you will not be able to hear me correctly right now but once it hits you you will come back to this audio i'm telling you once it hits you you'll come back to this audio to hear me out because i have seen i you know i have learned from my own mistake from my observing i see you know so today my idea in life is that whatever i'm doing i want to be doing full heartedly i tell myself this i keep telling myself again and again that i don't want to get into this self doubt regret cycle i don't want to because it feels like shit it feels very bad to be in a place where you doubt your abilities and people doubt your abilities even more and you know and that is where those bad compromises happen and once to, you know, once you make a bad compromise like you never wanted to get into a branch you never wanted you get into this you never wanted to take that job but you take it you create regrets and every day of your working becomes work your feet become heavy you walk towards work in a heavy heart with heavy feet with regrets and then you change as a person then you you are not that enthusiastic seeker any longer because you made a compromise and then you then you will have to work really hard to get out of it so you know that's what i've learned and that's what i want you to learn now i want you to promise it to yourself i want you to promise it to yourself that whatever i'll do i will do to the best of my abilities and i will put all my efforts 
all my efforts possible onto the task that I want to do. It's a simple rule of life. I, this is what I want you to promise. I want you to promise me that I will go ahead and do a full-hearted attempt. Now, the results really don't matter. You may win, you may lose. But if you do a full-hearted effort, you would not regret, you would not create self-doubts, and you will you know, become a person that you really want to become. So, you know, it's not about what you win, winning, losing. Actually, it's not is not important and I, I actually i feel what is most important is the kind of effort you're doing and the kind of effort you're doing translates into the kind of person you become your enthusiasm your positivity starts to speak for itself you know so i want you to promise it to me that whatever you're doing you will give a full-hearted attempt at it no half-hearted attempts no self-doubts no regrets i wish you all all the best